What is going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. We got new WWE reveals yesterday, so you know you guys know the deal. We're gonna go ahead and dig right on into it. Alright, so the first thing they showed off was a basic series 140. We have Rey Mysterio, Randy Orton. We have a suited Cody figure, which seems to be a brand new mold up top. We got a Ronda Rousey and we have Tommaso Champa. And Champa is actually the chase in this series. Alright, let's get, let's let's do a little breakthrough. So this is the same Cody head we've been getting. That's fine. This Randy Orton head I think was on his Elite 98. Rey Mysterio mm, looks a little off in the mouth region a little bit. Oh well. The Champa face scan is perfect, honestly. It matches him amazingly. The chase is him when he was tagging with the Miz and Ronda Rousey honestly looks like a cave woman with the way that they painted this figure. I don't know what they were thinking, but that's bad. That's really bad. Then we get another look at the figures. I like the green and black boots on Champa, but kind of pointless to me. I might take the knee pads off the regular one and use those on his Elite. And then there they are in package, but we're going to go on and go to the next set. This is Elite Series 103. We already see those. We're getting them in hand. We'll go ahead and skip over that. Championship Showdown 2-Pack Series 14. We have Mankind and Rock. Let's see if we can get individual pictures. We cannot. We have Mankind and Rock. We have Cody and Austin Theory. And we have the Street Profits. Now, I don't know about you guys. But this Montez Ford head sculpt, I like a whole lot more than his smiling head sculpt. So I'm going to be popping that on his newest Elite because I like that. The Mankind head sculpt seems to be brand new. The Rock one also seems to be new. And uh, I'm going to have to see once we get those in hand. Because those are pretty nice. But that's three head swaps in a championship showdown set. So that's not bad. We have the Top Picks 2023 Elite Wave 4. It's a re-release of the Rey Mysterio with double jointed arms. It is a straight re-release of Matt Riddle. The Cody is in like a weirdish blue, gray tights color. It looks good in hand. It doesn't quite look like this in the photos. That's more so what it actually looks like. But it's a solid figure and you can't really go wrong with any Cody releases lately, especially or Rey Mysterio and Matt Riddle. So I think it's a, a pretty solid set overall because you expect, you know, re-releases in this or upgrades or whatever it is. But I think these are all really nice figures. Going on, we have new pictures of the ringside exclusive Elite 2-pack of Jey Uso and Jimmy Uso. And these are looking great. But after seeing this torso, and I think this is a brand new mold, I could be wrong. This torso needed to be used for Roman. And I think it would be perfect. We get cloth shirts, we get the Raw and the SmackDown title. So if you have had trouble getting your hands on some of them, because I know some of them are a little more difficult to get their hands on, you get those. We got a hat coming with Jimmy. We got two of the lays coming with them the red ones just like the ultimate roman they each have three head scans and i'm not gonna lie they are pretty solid looking figures they come individually packed so if you want to take them out of their big box you can display them on your shelf like this if you're an ultimate completist but the box itself looks phenomenal that's the front of it and that is these are good figures i'm not gonna lie <laughs> and there they are with the black pants Red shoes, everything about this is nice. And there are no complaints from me. Ruthless Aggression Wave 5. These are actually hitting stores now. This Edge is a must-have. I've been wanting an Elite of this ever since I started collecting Elites. The purple camo is just top-notch. And you you just can't go wrong with that. That looks so good. That, that really is a solid figure. Is that just the Edge? Yeah, it is. Okay. Alright, so we have Ruthless Aggression Wave 6. I talked about this in yesterday's video. We have the Hollywood Rock with the belt buckle. I love the... I don't know why I love the belt buckle there, so that's pretty cool. And these just... That Miz is a must-have, honestly. The MVP is a must-have. Like, you can't go wrong. This whole set is absolute fire. Just... You gotta get it. If you care in the slightest bit, you gotta get it. This is a whole set. This is perfect. This says available in stores quarter four of 2023. Then we have the Best of the Ruthless Aggression Series 
Ultimates, this is Wave 2, they're Walmart exclusive. We have RVD and Brock Lesnar. These look phenomenal. This is the ECW One Night Stand RVD. We got three head sculpts coming with it. I like the one that's actually on the figure a lot. And the top one, you can actually move the ponytail around, so that's a nice little addition. Brock Lesnar, you get four head scans, you get a cloth shirt, you get the undisputed title. RVD, you get the chair, you get the WWE Championship. And these are solid. And since they are exclusives, they're going to have the red box with the white accents as opposed to the white box with the red accents. But these are really good looking. Um, yeah, these these are solid, honestly. this That's a nice set. Then we have the Walmart exclusive WWE Superstar Series 7. And this is Vader. This Vader looks pretty good. But how about Captain Lou Albano? I think that shirt is going to be good for customs. I think the necklace, the head sculpt, the vinyl record that's broken. Everything looks solid here. And I cannot wait to get that one. Even though I do not collect superstars at all. Those are solid figures. And is that going to be it? No, we got a couple more reveals. We have mock shots of the gobbledygooker ultimate and the undertaker. I still cannot believe we are getting the freaking gobbledygooker at all. This is... It's unreal, honestly. But these are Amazon exclusive. These already went up for pre-order. They should be coming around September, October, November at the absolute latest. And then the last thing they showed off is a re-release of the Target exclusive WWE Legends Classic Cage set. This is the blue cage. And it's just, it's solid. It's for a basic ring, so that part sucks. But other than that, it's a, it's a beautiful thing. And if you want the blue cage, this is an affordable way to get it. It's probably like... 30 bucks at the store maybe 40 at the most so i mean it's it's a solid pickup but those are the reveals for today and i hope you guys enjoyed this video let me know down in the comments if you're going to be picking any of these up and as always don't forget to like comment subscribe and last but not least have a good day